You read the title and click on the video. So your attention span can't be that bad. Right. Well, I don't know. Let's do the test that any scientist who respects themselves and their science will do. Will you be able to watch for longer this video? It's been spoiled by internet porn. It's true. Totally. What do you mean internet porn? You uh don't know about internet porn. Or this one. Hey Peter. I've just been uh checking out some of that internet porn. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm just gonna go go and check my mail over there. If the answer to my question was a second one, then your attention span is definitely fighting off. Before proceeding to mention three actual signs, your attention span is not as it should be. We are going to summarize the reason why that is the case. Except for your own unbelievably bad attention span Bruh. when answering number two in the previous question, another thing I could almost certainly say by your answer is that you belong in Gen Z, which according to newer studies has an attention span of 8 seconds, meaning that people of generation Z can keep their attention to a single task for 8 seconds. Millennials' attention span is also bad, but it is still 4 seconds longer and can comfortably sit at 12 seconds. Why is our attention declining? The answer can be a single word. Dopamine. Yes, our dopamine levels are getting destroyed every single day, which makes us unable to concentrate. Dopamine is the chemical that is released in the brain that is in charge of making us feel good and content with ourselves. Like we have achieved something great. Previous generations would get this precious chemical released every time they actually did something. But we newer generations have so many pings and signals that dopamine is constantly getting released. Every time you masturbate, dopamine releases. Every time you see a nice house on Instagram, dopamine releases. Every time you see a person with a great body, dopamine releases. This makes our brain desensitized and less able to control dopamine levels. But I'm not going to talk any further because I don't want to challenge your ability to keep your attention on this video. Bruh. Let's talk about the action science. Your nine time routine consists of you getting to bed and watching Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts or even Netflix until you can't no more and fall asleep. Well, that means you prefer not to stay alone with your thoughts and you always need something to keep your attention. If your dopamine levels are most likely not great, and your attention span needs improvement. That seems very specific, I know, but has a clear reason why it's important. If you had the chance to have trips with your parents when you were little, you would notice that older people enjoy looking at nature and that calms them. Newer generations, especially Generation Z, can't keep up. They can't enjoy the beauty of scenery for long and they feel like this activity has no meaning. Truth is, you most probably can't stay away from your phone. Your dopamine receptors are used to the strong pings that your phone gives and not the more subtle ones of nature that lead to finding this kind of activity which once was incredibly potent for relaxation, not enough stimulating. In other words, boring. Be honest. Has this happened to you? You were talking with a friend and suddenly the small talk you had that gave you laughs has been converted to a long conversation about their problems. They start talking longer than you expected and you get bored. You start not listening to something they say and you seem like you are zoned out. That's a result of a low attention span. Those were three big indicators of someone being inattentive. If you want to learn more about what you can do to resolve the problem, like this video and I will make a second part. If you still don't believe that Gen Z has a problem with attention, Remember that 50% of TikTok users have people on TikTok reported that when a video is longer than one minute, they become noticeably anxious. Bruh. I leave that here. I was Sandra from Dell Psychology and I did the next one. I am out.